Hello everyone and welcome to Cat Cafe Manager, which of course I knew I had to go ahead and try out as soon as I saw it has released on Steam. And I wanted to give you guys an excellent preview or purview, I suppose I should say, of what Cat Cafe Manager might offer to you. Because something tells me from the hundreds of episodes of wonderful adventures we've already had together that you guys like cats very much and you also enjoy rescuing cats just like I do. Did you guys know there's actually some vlogs on our main channel where Chips and I went to a adorable cat cafe adoption center called Tiny Lions up in Ann Arbor, Michigan when we still lived in there. And oh my gosh, it was so much fun and delightful and we would play with the kittens and I have lots of videos of cute little kittens from that. So I am very biased to enjoying adorable cat cafes and hoping that we'll actually find a way to tie this in to the special cat cafe legacy challenge that we had in Sims 4 and also our animal shelter simulator. Hmm, I think we could probably make all of those things combined in a gigantic crossover of awesomeness and kittens. So with all of that said, let's go ahead and start a new game and show you guys what this has to offer uh, right from like the very beginning because I honestly have no idea what I'm getting myself into. I hope it's kittens. You've traveled all the way from the city to Catterwall Way. It's a small countryside town hidden far away from the bustle of the city. You hardly even remember the town. Don't take it too hard. You were a baby. Oh, so let's see. Dad never mentioned how pretty it was or mom always seemed to miss this place. Um, let's go with dad never mentioning how pretty it was. Granny stayed when you left. It's only now that you know why. Turns out she was running a business. Oh, what kind of business? Was it like yarn balls? Well, what's going on here? Is that Granny? <laughs> granny, you don't look how I remembered. Ah, you arrived. Wasn't there supposed to be a building here? There's a big man clumsily rummaging around the field. He's all chaffed knuckles and smiling eyes. Okay. His name's Bonner, eh? Uh, are you supposed to be here? Uh, my grand's letter asked me to come, or who were, uh, you? Who are you? Uh, I guess we'll say grand's letter because I have less of a right to be wandering this random field than this random man does. Oh, your name's little tyke. I should have known. Sorry to scare ya. I'm Bonner. I was a good friend of your grand's. Couldn't compete with her cats, though. Haha. -ha. What's your name? Let me get a good look at ya. All right, all right. Oh, hey, look at size. My name's Kit. No, my name's gonna be Siri. There we go. And we're gonna make my hair color dark. Uh, let's see, we'll give myself a little bit more of a tan there. And then do we have like super long? Okay, oh, tied back. Okay, I'm probably gonna go with tied back because my hair is now down past my knees when it's down, guys. Like I have the longest hair of anybody that I know. Uh, and I love it, <laughs> but my hair is usually tied up or in a bun when you guys see it in videos or pictures because when I let it all the way down, it actually goes all the way down behind my knees and it's still getting longer. So this is perfect. Ah, look at you. You even got your grand's eyes. Nine, uh, Nine was always talking about you. Said that even as a little babe, she liked you. She liked how you were so... Uh, oh, we can pick gent. Oh, look, if we're gentle, we have more cat care and stress relief for cats. Your gentle demeanor can calm down the rowdiest cat. Social butterfly. You have a knack for making others feel comfortable. Oh, these are sweet. I like that you can have a little bit of a personality tw like twist to this. Gourmand. You enjoy eating food almost as much as you enjoy making it. Plus two cooking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go with gentle because if I had to take care of everything in a cat cafe, my biggest concern would be making the cats comfortable. The people, like, last concern. It would be cats, food, then people. So we'll go with gentle. So, did Nain's letter say why she wanted you to come here? To rebuild her cat cafe? I mean, okay, so our grandma sent us a letter and was like, my cat cafe got knocked down in a freak, like, tornado, I guess? Can you rebuild it? Huh, I knew it. Let me help you set up. First things first, let's pick a good name. All right, Coffee Meow. Okay, that's actually kind of cute. I actually really love Tiny Lions, uh, so I'm actually gonna go with Tiny Tigers because we're going to make a little pun of the Tiny Lions Cafe that Chips and I enjoyed. Tiny Tigers, such a clever cat-based pun. Uh, oh, and then we can make it really full of plants, of course. I can go with a complete like jungle theme. I love that idea. 
Uh, such a clever cat-based pun. Unless it's not- unless it's not a pun. Wouldn't know, I've been pun deaf since the age of four. Pun deaf, oh my gosh. <gasps> Who are these? You hear the telltale sounds of meowing cats. Three little fur balls poke their heads past the trees. Oh, it's some of the many stray cats which roam Catterwall. This is a perfect opportunity to adopt a cat, Siri. Need cats for a cat cafe, after all. <laughs> Why do we have stray cats wandering around? Do you have any idea what that's probably doing to the native animal population? That's horrible! We've got to round these guys up and give them spay and neuters and, and good homes. You only have one for one cat right now. Okay, goal number one is to expand the cafe so that we can get these cats out of the woods and rescue all the poor birds and small animals and the cats while we're at it. You can expand the cafe and take those other two off the street later. Oh my gosh! Okay, so I'm actually gonna roll a dice to see which cat we get. But we can go ahead and start with the ginger cat who's chill, who has less stress need. We can go with the petite little black cat who actually is uh, like tiny tummied and they don't need a lot of food. Or we could go with the white clean cat who cleans herself up after eating. And I rolled the dice and it said we're gonna go with Chill Cat over here. I choose you! Okay, that's hilarious. I've seen a lot of game references to other games just while playing in five minutes. They had reticulating spleens on the loading screen. <laughs> and now it's like Pokemon reference. You've won this cat's trust. They would like to be adopted. Go ahead and give them the perfect name. All right, we're actually gonna go ahead and name this guy Tiger. And you know, we're gonna say that like Tiny Tigers is based off of Tiger. So there we go. Yay! All right, so we have Tiger. Vagabonds shows how well the cat meets this cat's type need. And fisher folk, oh, so vagabonds and fisher folk are apparently customer types and they're going to enjoy hanging out with our little tiger. Oh, that's so cute. But where am I gonna put him? Oh, look, he's on his little belly or on his little back and giving me his little belly. Ha <laughs> ha They seem to trust you, Siri. You've got your grand feline charm, you do. As you can see, the cafe is just a tiny bit destroyed by a storm. However, I've saved some of the furniture. You receive a bunch of shabby looking furniture. You probably need more chairs though. You can buy some more at Gruff's Decorations in town. All right, I'll be sure to check on you later. For now, good luck turning this field into a cozy little cat cafe. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> we just unlocked the achievement, a fresh start. Your goals. Hello, dear. I hope this notebook helps you along your way. Your goal is to delight your customers. Your customers will have needs when fulfilled, uh, which when fulfilled, increase their satisfaction. If your customers leave satisfied, they'll gain more delight. And that gives you more resources for you to expand your ca cafe with. What's in your cafe? Cats, cats, cats make your customers happy by meeting their cat need, but also by having their own needs you'll need to fulfill. Staff. Staff automatically perform tasks around the cafe. They'll be useful when your cafe gets bigger. Furniture. Each piece of furniture has stats which affect your cafe. Some customers have needs tied to furniture, so pay attention. Okay. And then there's resources. So there are many resources to use to expand your cat cafe. Let's take a look. Fabric. Fabric is spent on chairs and tables at the furniture shop. Nectar. Spent on food recipes and ingredients in the market. Fish. Fish is spent on cat materials such as food or toys and stray lures, which can lure in new cats. Ooh, very useful to know. I wonder if like Catterwall is located near a city because it seems like fisher folk are a common sight around here. Then we also have gems. Gems are spent on nice decorations at the furniture shop. Gold, the highest quality furniture cost gold to purchase. And materials. Spend materials in build mode to expand the size of your cafe while building floors. So I imagine that's like, I go chop down a tree. All right, so we can move around, we can perform tasks, zoom in and out. Tasks will appear around your cafe. They can range from taking an order to petting a cat. Okay, so then we hold the button to perform a task, got it. And then hold the right must button down to do inspect mode to check on somebody and see like what they wanna do, got it. Okay, so water requires a sink and I don't have an entrance. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so it's already day one. Um. I could do inspect mode. There's tiger. Oh my goodness. And then I can like place lures. Uh, okay. So materials. Decorate. 
Okay, so there's, oh wow, there's a lot of decoration. Hang on, I'm gonna, okay, we can go into build mode to expand with floors. Cats need entertainment, customers need some art, chairs are real important. The more chairs in your cafe, the more customers you can fit, which means more resources. Okay, so we're learning, oh, there we go, okay. <laughs> we're gonna learn by doing, uh, as my good friend Marco likes to say. So we're just gonna kind of live with this. All right, let's put down a little path. Can I, okay, I can't put the path over along here. All right, we're gonna put the path down over here to guide people over to our cafe. Uh, okay, and then we're going to put in, I guess, how do I do walls? <laughs> Is this just gonna give me a wall? Okay, should be placed on a floor. Oh, so you need to have floors before you can have walls. Well, let's do it like this. Okay, how much material do I have? Not a lot. Oh, I see, it's kind of like this isometric view. All right, all right. I think I'm gonna be brave and bold and expand this much. There we go. And then I could, can I do one more? Oh, I cannot do one more. All right, can I put on those walls? Okay, and the wallpaper does not cost me anything, it looks like, so we're fine there. But how do I, okay, oh good, okay, so you can do an ugly entrance. <laughs> so we have an ugly entrance, and then we have these like broken chairs, okay, broken windows. So I have an ugly entrance and broken windows to get us started, and a rose bush. Come on, that's really important. Uh, we also have a little food bowl, which I think we're going to need for our cat. So I'm gonna put that over here. We have a sink, which needs water. Uh, we have a dusty rug. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then we have like a crummy table. Jeez, grandma. And then moldy chairs. All right. So dusty, moldy chairs. Here, we'll just move this chair kind of like Oh, oh, I think a chair absolutely has to be around a table. Noted. Okay, so that's important. Um, well, all right. Well, we can have up to six chairs here. We need cat food, scratching poles and things. Ooh, we are going to need to go ahead and buy things. Magic aura! You guys, this is escalating quickly. I'm just going to say this is already a lot more than I was expecting. I'm kind of excited about this. So let's exit design mode. Advertising. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, so there's vagabond, or vagabonds, artists, punks, witches, fisher folk, business people. They all give you different resources. Got it. I don't have to read the details to start kind of like grabbing things. Learn by doing. Go, go, go. Use the advertising menu to select which customer groups visit the cafe. This can be useful if you want to earn specific resources quickly. And then there's cats, hunger, comfort, social toilet space, furniture needs. Uh, what I really actually need, so we need water in order to go ahead and advertise. Tabby cat, tab water, all the basics. We can bring water to some of, all oh, the, the Vagabond customers. Oh, there we go, okay, I'm in here. Uh, and then, oh, is this my first customer? It's my first customer, and he wants water, okay. So his satisfaction is low. He wants to play with some cats. He just wants some water. Okay, so how do I... Okay, yeah, kitty cat is coming over to check me out. Okay, and then I need to come over and prepare water. Oh, I have to walk over here and then walk back to him. I gave him some water. There we go. Hey, tiger. There's a good kitty. Oh, look, now he has a friend. Okay, so like he really wants some water. Okay. Well, we, oh, we need to take his order, mind you. <gasps> Look, Tiger's like cuddling with him. All right, so I need to stand next to him in order to take his order. And then we get ourselves some water. And then we fulfill it. Oh, that's a witch. <gasps> a witch has come to like hang out with us. Does she just want to chat? Oh, hey. oh hello, Carla Lala. I love your name. I run the Pet Emporium in town. We carry many useful items for cat owners, such as cat food or litter boxes. I hope you can find the time to pay us a visit. Oh, I love your hat, Lala. Lala, la 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 Oh my gosh, oh dear. I'd recommend not commenting on a witch's hat, Siri. I can't speak for all garden witches, but it's a bit embarrassing. Quite a few garden witches live here in Catterwall. Please, no hat-related talk when they visit Tiny Tigers, all right? Good, good. 
Us witches tend to pay with uh, pay in scrumptious nectar. Many merchants at the food market enjoy it so much they'll only accept nectar as payment for their food recipes and ingredients. If you wish to stock tiny tigers with new drinks and food, I suggest you advertise to witches and collect some nectar, Siri. Personally, I look forward to visiting tiny tigers more often. I hope we can talk more then. Uh, more then. All right. Thank you, Lala. Yay, we met her. And now we can go ahead and unlock nectar, which sounds great. Uh, she has an order for pretzels, but I don't have pretzels, unfortunately. Oh, and tiger's hanging out with her. Oh my gosh, that's really cute. Okay, so... If I want to go ahead and update my menu, my whole menu is just water. Look at the cute little thing we have. Can I like go to town already? And like, uh, welcome to Gruff, forget it. Gruff decorations. So this is Gruff at Gruff Decorations. Uh, can I get a coffee machine? Whoops. Oh, I had jewels. When did I get nectar? I don't know when I got nectar. Oh, I want plants. Oh, wow, you need a lot of, oh, wow, you actually need a lot of resources <laughs> to be able to get these things. I'm kind of blown away. Oh my goodness. And I want a basic flowery window. So we're going to have to do a little bit of work to get some of the resources. If I come to market, black coffee recipe. Okay, so I, I can actually get, oh, hey, look who it is. Okay, so I can get the black coffee recipe. Uh, let's see, it requires coffee beans and a coffee machine, but I'm gonna go ahead and learn it now. Okay, yes, that's fine. So can I come over here? Oh, look, and then you can go ahead and you can actually buy yourself uh, some coffee beans. Wow, I'm gonna need like a lot of these. And then we have a black tea recipe. God save the queen, says the black tea recipe. Oh my gosh, an herbal tea recipe for soothing the soul. An Italian espresso recipe. Oh, and the pizza recipe requires sink, cooking skill one, and bread. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. I can make coffee and I can make pretzels now. And then, oh, the pet emporium. Oh my gosh. I don't have anything I could get at the pet emporium just yet. But then I immediately can come back over here and return to the cafe. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. Can I please deliver? Okay, and give them both the water. Excellent, excellent. And then I can come in to decorate and, oh, when did I get a coffee machine? Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know how or when I got the coffee machine, but I am not going to complain. Um, and then, then I guess I can go ahead and start trying to advertise to witches. Don't have a familiar? Get familiar with our cats. Yay! Okay, that's level one advertising for both of that. This is already a lot more going on than I thought would be happening. Oh, and now we have a beautiful day to you, Siri. Now we have an order for pretzels. <gasps> Look, and because we had some bread, I can come and give this kitchen witch the pretzel she wanted yay wow i think we've had a much more successful first day than i was possibly anticipating dusk sets in when you hear a raspy meowing outside when you open the door to see if it's a stray a dark shape rushes rushes into tiny tigers what the heck <laughs> i feel like this is warrior cats and like a cat cafe blended with a little bit of magic and now I'm like rubbing my hands together in eagerness of maybe working on some of my stories which I possibly can do now that I've been taking things a lot nicer to myself. Ahem. <clears throat> Grimalkin. An ancient black cat sits in your, your cafe gazing at you with big yellow eyes. Hello. Uh. Eek. Look at me taking the effort to speak human and you reply in mouse. Okay that was amazing. No need to eek, little thing. I was a friend of your grandmother's. I'm surprised to find her cat cafe open for business. Your handiwork, I'm sure. The cats which have chosen to shelter here. Their paws are soft, their tummies full, their bristles bristly. This thing pleases me, little thing. I have something to show you. Follow, if you please. What? What? You follow the dark cat into a clearing, hidden deep in the woods. There you find what looks to be some sort of ancient shrine. Have you noticed, little thing, how your tiny tigers and its cats have brought delight to the humans of Catterwall? For the sake of this shrine, I ask of you that you continue to do so. 
fill their little hearts with delight and obtain their help in restoring this old shrine to its former glory. Pretty please, yes. Uh, what is the shrine? Meow, meow, ha ha. I'll tell that tale in due time, inquisitive little thing. But know that it's powerful for canny cat caretakers, such as yourself, little thing. As the shrine is restored, I'm sure you will enjoy bountiful benefits for your cafe and cats. To start, set a project for yourself. Each project requires goals to be met, and a certain amount of delight. Something tells me the cats get more out of this than we do. Why don't you try starting a project now, little thing? I will find you after you've managed to make some progress. Oh dear. She really knows that I am a very goal-oriented, project-oriented person. I feel like I'm being a little manipulated right now. Somewhat concerned about this situation. <laughs> However, looks like we found our skills. So we can go ahead and add in more cats. Litter boxes unlocks little litter box, unlocks floral litter box. All right, we definitely might need a litter box. Uh, and it looks like you actually need a lot of delight in order to start unlocking a whole bunch of these things. So... I think we're busy enough with food at the moment, and I think getting litter boxes unlocked is probably super important because I want to take very good care of our cats. Uh, getting some furniture unlocked would be really great as well. And then it looks like you can start like hiring staff and adding more chairs, but we're going to take care of our cats first. So we're going to start the project with litter boxes and try to work on getting 100 delight. Phew! Wow! All right, you know what? This has been a really great first day, friends. I am quite pleased with how things have worked out. We figured out how to start doing some advertising on a basic level. Uh, we have our cat Tiger, who we are taking good care of. Uh, oh, and you can have cat training points to train Tiger. Oh my gosh, as cats interact with customers, you will earn cat training points. Spend those to train and level up your cats. Uh, like the menu. Oh my goodness. So the black coffee appeals to artistes who pay with jewels, which I do want to get, and business people who pay with gold. And look at our cute little menu we're filling out. And you can even see if you have enough ingredients. Oh, so I got a whole bunch of those ingredients when we bought them. I thought I thought I only got one, enough to make like one pretzel, but we had enough to make 20 pretzels. So this is really cute. I am actually really happy. Oh wait, and you can even do like a rating? Interesting. So I bet you can upgrade your food as well. We figured out how to do some decorating. Yeah, I'm really pleased with this, guys. This already has a lot more depth to it than I was expecting. Which means we're going to be taking good care of our little cat cafe, expanding it and doing our best to serve our customers and, of course, our kitties. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining Tiger and I on our very first day here. If you guys could, do please leave a like for the mysteries of our new cat cafe. And if you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands and thousands more adventures, literally we're over 10,000 working our way to 11,000 episodes on the Pixel Biology channel now, just saying, then do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.